We're gonna have some fun after this, all right? Yo, what's up, guys? Like Sunny said, my name's Ronnie Feist. I'm a professional freestyle motocross rider. I ride for the Metal Militia Rockstar team. And it's only by the grace of God that I'm even standing here on this stage tonight. God has shown me so much love, so much mercy. He's had so much patience with me in my walk with him. See, I wasn't raised in the church. I come from a broken family back in New Jersey. Um, I was a straight edge kid. I, was, I did everything my parents had never really gotten into trouble. Got a dirt bike when I was eight years old. By the time I was nine, I was racing. By the time I was 10, I had a dream that I wanted to be a professional motocross racer. And I had a dream that I wanted to move to California. When I was 18 years old, I turned pro. When I was 20, I moved to California. And uh, about two years later, my freestalker took off and I basically signed some contracts with some good companies, got going on tour, and uh, everything's dream come true. Everything started happening, started falling in place, traveling the world with your friends, making money. I bought a house, bought a new truck, bought a Harley. Everything was just the way I dreamed. And uh, with all that, I got caught up. I started partying and started off with little drugs, started smoking weed with the homies, and then, uh, then I got into like this ecstasy phase and I was doing ecstasy in the clubs all the time. And uh, kind of after that I got into drinking and uh, I started just drinking a lot. I kind of got over the weed, just started drinking and doing cocaine. And that kind of was my party drug. And I stayed on that all the time. Basically I would ride and train every single day and then I'd go to the event, make my money, do what I had to do, keep the sponsors happy and then I'd blow the wheels off, try to find a girl to go home with that night. And uh, if I was on tour, I was partying basically every night of the tour. I don't even know how I rode half of them days. But uh, then God decided he was gonna show up in my life. Um, I started watching the televangelist on TV. A few months after that, I gave my life to the Lord sitting in my bedroom. And uh, a couple months after that, one of my boys, Brian Deegan, gave me a Bible for Christmas and I started reading the New Testament. And uh, a few months after that, I, 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 had a, I had a tug on my heart to go, find, to go find a church. So I got plugged into the local church, Revival Christian Fellowship. And um, as I was reading through the New Testament, God started to speak to me and I got plugged into the church and I was listening to Pastor Gary speak. See, when I got saved, the dude that I was listening on TV kind of preached one side of the gospel. He didn't talk about sin, he didn't talk about hell, he didn't talk about repentance. So I didn't have, I didn't know nothing about that, I didn't have any Christian friends. I used to roll in the church by myself, sit in the back, dip out. So when I started reading the word for myself, God started to speak to my heart and I started to see.